Hello, uh, this is Hans Kushneos, and I am the moderator of a session I call How Does History Inform Current Events? Well, when I signed up for that, I thought we were going to have kind of a friendly theoretical discussion. Now I realize that uh, basically that patient is dead. Uh, the events have overtaken us, and unfortunately, as so often in history, uh, the uh, powers to be, our leaders, be they good or bad, paid little attention to what history had to tell us 85 years ago, and they just let uh, about letting it to repeat. In other words, I think we're at the brink of another world war, the way this is going. Very sad, very tragic, horrific. Given that maybe the environment for our discussion has changed, let me at least invite you to come in and have a discussion anyhow, because I think we owe it to future generations to work on methods by which we can use the wisdom of our experience, collective experience, so that we can improve the future. We cannot let things like this happen again and again and again. Clearly, history tends to be like Goliath. It's like we we do a lot of wishful thinking, and that is like being David facing Goliath, and our chances of winning are not large. But we need to continue to keep wishful thinking and become smarter, and hopefully in the future, maybe several generations from now, we will in fact have achieved an environment where history truly can inform current events in a very positive way. What are we going to do here? We're going to do two sessions, and they are dialogue sessions, uh, very little seminar type work. I will offer some ideas, but I'm hoping to learn as much from you as I hope you might learn from my insights that we will bring about an understanding of why history is so fickle, or why it's misunderstood, or why it is not paid attention to, as it has been in this recent incident. And then on a second session, I hope that we can collectively bring about some insights about what it is we need to do, be it in education, be it in electing our, our leaders, or any number of ways that we can improve the environment and the future so that history is going to be paid attention to and is going to do have a have a positive impact on the future so please join me uh, i hope they're going to be two lively and very informative sessions that will bring us some new insights and that's what that's what i would like to do I'd like to invite to join me in this session thank you